If you've been struggling creating an application for your business or your idea, look no further than this video. We're gonna be breaking down how to create your own application in 2025. And this is for the complete beginner. If you are struggling what platform you should use, there's a guide down below that will walk you through how to pick the right platform for you. Today, we're gonna to be talking about software. Why? Because software is the answer for a lot of different solutions that you're looking for. If you're trying to create a client portal, a vendor portal, employee portal, marketplace, an internal tool, the list goes on and on, this is the right platform to start with. We're gonna go through key features, how to get started with their new AI um, generation that you can use with software, and we're starting right now. To get started, make sure that you look at the link down below. You can start for free with software. Once you go there, you can also look at the solutions that they have. That will allow you to decide on where do you need to start? What example do they have right here that you can start right now using a template? So in the comment section down below, let me know what are you trying to create? Where are you in your idea process or your business? From there, once you log into software, you're gonna be taken to the home screen. Now the home screen allows you to get started very quickly. You can click create new. And from there, you can decide to go a couple different routes. You can start from scratch. You can look at the different templates. So you can look at portals, internal tools, how to create dashboards, marketplace, you name it. Or you can generate with AI. And before you say you can't create anything that's huge or that scales, we're going to be at the end talk about how low code engineers has a thriving marketplace using software. So let's get into some details right here. We're going to create a new app, but we're going to do it by generating with AI. Now this allows you to go from text to app so we can go from prompt to reality. The, here are a couple different ideas that you can build with including client portal, internal tool, directory, and membership platform. I'm gonna go with the directory. Now, they already have some text right here to begin with for uh, creating this directory, but maybe you're thinking, I want a different type of directory. I don't know how to describe it. Well, if you have used ChatGPT, go to ChatGPT and write out, write a prompt for me to create X, and the platform is text app. I'll put the link or I'll put the text down below what you can literally copy and paste and put into chat GPT. But what I wrote was write a prompt for me to create a marketplace for tours and merchandise. The platform is text to app. So here it created me a, a prompt of what I should be putting in. And it also gave me also details of what I could put in for describing more of the application. Because software allows you to have up to 200 characters when I'm describing my application, I'm just gonna copy and paste this right here. And then I'm gonna say preview app. So it'll take a couple seconds, it's gonna generate. And here it gives me an app name, it says Playland. And then also it gives me the theme, what do I want? More retro, playful, I'm gonna go modern. And then I'm going to go with this accent color. I'm going to go right here to generate the app. It's gonna take a few moments. And just like that, it created my, my application. So let's get started with how we're going to be editing. This will allow us to now edit all the things that it just created. On the left-hand side, we have the general navigation of the site. We have pages, theme, users, and settings. So now this allows us to navigate our application, change it, and do what we would like. If we go to pages at the top right here on the left-hand side, it allows me to see the different pages that it created based on my prompt. It made a few pages, including the main page, the details page, so I can see the detail of the items, a page for forgot password, reset password, user profile, sign up, and the list goes on and on. Also, I have the theme. So this is going to be the overarching design of the site. I can look at the headings, the type of the fonts, the colors for my application, the app styles, and also to um, the button text as well. Here I can also be able to 
sync my database. So this allows my application to be smart. And I can go through a couple things right here. And we'll get into that a little bit more in another video, how we connect all of our data sources, if it's Google Sheets, Airtable, you name it. And then also we have settings right here. So we can go with general settings so we can have more details of changing the domain name or subdomain name, the title. We have custom domains so we can bring in our domain name if we want to. Our data sources, right now it's connected to my uh, Google Sheets, but I can add other things here. If I have the business plan, I can go with mobile apps. So I can create a PWA, which is a progressive web app. I can have SEO right here, custom code, date and time format and time zone, and other features based on what I need. Now we're going to be looking at how we can make basic edits to our pages. So I clicked on one of the pages, I clicked on the home page. And if we've ever used a WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get, this is what it's like. So if you've used uh, Wix, Squarespace, Weeble, whatever it is, you can do something like this. Um, so once you navigate to the section of the page, let me zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Once you click on the section of the page, there on the right hand side, we can edit that section. So right here, we see where it says welcome logged in username, we can just say, hey, and we see how it changes on the page directly right there. So depending on which section of the page we want, we can edit it. And then if we click the uh, plus button right here, we can actually now add a block. So we can add a dynamic block, a static block, or a container. So depending on the type of content that we're bringing in, we can preview what it would look like and bring it into the page that we want. For example, let's go to a static block. We're going to go to a hero section and say, for instance, I wanna add a hero with call to action. I click the plus sign and now it is right here on the page. From there, I can decide to change the text, testing and so on and so forth. So we have the title here, subtitle, and then we can also add background image and go through how we want to edit it ourselves. And what I like is if you toggle over here by the, um, by the title, we have two different ones right here. We can have uh, title styles, but also if we hover a little bit, and then we can see that little robot that appears. And then we can also have copywriting generator. So we can, uh, if we're stuck at what, how we, should describe a certain section or what text we should use, we can also uh, have the app uh, generate a different copy for us as well. So we have seen how we can edit different pages, navigate the different pages right here if we want to, but also once we're done, and I would really go for this stage to mock it up, see what we feel, uh, make sure it's the design we're looking for before we add uh, a database source if we want to, Remember, it's already having uh, mock data for us. I would then be able to preview the application. And once you preview the application, what I really like about software is you can decide to um, uh, have different views of preview. So once you connect your data source, if you wanna have logged in users, then you can look at what it looks like from non-logged in users and logged in users. You can go through that process right there. You can look at the different formats, if it's gonna be on desktop, if it's going to be on tablet or mobile, and making sure that's optimized the way that you want. And from there, once it is in a state that you like, then you can click publish, and then you can have it live and share that link. Now that's the overview. If you want more videos, how we're going to connect a data source or wanna see this further, please let us know in the comment section down below. We'll go step-by-step with, step with software. Now, I mentioned also, what would it look like if you're building out a marketplace or other things with using software? Well, we also have an example called Low Code Engineers. Now, I'm the program manager at Low Code Engineers where we help different ones to have an expert with solving their low code and no code problems. If you're having trouble with using Airtable, Zapier, Make, Softer. This is where you can come for experts and you can pay on an hourly service 
for them to help you with your no code project. This is all built with using software. We, do, we manage our entire business with low code engineers using software. So definitely there are ways to scale and have this. And if you want to see more or get help with low code engineers or get help with your project using our services, there's going to be a link down below. And there's also a discount code for your first hour as well. But that's just an example. Using software, you can do powerful things to run your business, getting started and then scaling as well. If you want more details on how we use software, different tutorials, more things to use with software, let us know in the comment section down below and let us know what is your idea? What are you planning to do with creating your app in 2025? I'll see you in the next video.